Welcome to an out of the box video. Today we're going to be looking at Wipers Salient. It's a solitaire game where you play the part of allied forces defending the Wipers Salient against the growing attacks of the Germans during the Great War. So this is set in World War One. Marshal your forces, draft your reinforcements and above all hold the line. So this game is a deck builder um, and you slowly increase your um, card as you work through increasingly more difficult enemies. So there's a enemy stack of cards um, that end up at strength 12 going down to 11, 10, 9, 8. And you'll see that there's very kind of cutish, um, cartoonish type um, images which are really bring out the kind of um, theme of the game set in the Great War. And we start with level three enemy. We have a set of starting cards and gameplay basically works with you draw five cards, you use um, resources, supplies to recruit new cards. You have a um, morale that you can change values. You can increase your morale, fix your health, or go and attack the enemy. Once you've destroyed all the enemies, that's the game over. Um, yeah, and as a deck builder, you have a recruitment phase where we have a set of cards. There are four cards that get laid out that we can purchase. So they go into our discards and then they get reshuffled in as we play through the game. I guess the easiest way to see it is to see a game in action. So I've set it up so, um, oh, and you have a resource. There's a set of three resources that are not very powerful cards, but they're very cheap. And so early in the game, if you don't have any recruit um, supplies to um, recruit with, um, you can add those into your deck. We also have this um, dashboard, which is our health red and our um, morale. So this is um, print and play, and I've built it by um, printing the cards, cornering them, and then putting them in a, a, a cardboard underneath them and then just sleeving them, the standard sleeves. So these are standard size and it also comes in a slightly larger card size if you want to print it on the plastic. So let's um, play a game and see how long I survive. So the game turn is draw five cards. So we have these five starter cards. Um, then you deploy an enemy. And we start with enemy number three. Then we purchase a card from what's available. And so if we look at my cards, I've got a, a two, a three, and a one. So I've got six to spend. So I think I will have this one. That goes into my discards, it gets replaced. Um, then I would heal my morale or my health if I needed to with the appropriate icons. Then I could attack the enemy and I only have two attack. So I can't defeat the first enemy. I discard my hand. We then move on to the enemy attack phase. It will attack my morale for one. And the gist of it, that is the, the gaming cycle. And so now we have to we have to draw up to five cards. So we shuffle our cards, one, two, three, five. We deploy a new enemy. I look at these ones and see that I've got three, four, five, six um, to recruit with. So I guess I will have kind of tricky because I really want something that's got supplies but if I grab this one I'm not refreshing so I won't get better cards out so it's kind of dangerous to take these ones because you do want to get cards out um, I think I will take that one then I've got one two on my morale so I can heal I need to heal my health. Um, in terms of attack, I've only got two. 
So now the enemy attacks, and the enemy will attack for one health and one morale. End round, I get one card. I shuffle these. Some of the cards have got attributes along the bottom, actions that you can take as well, um, and hopefully one of those will pop out because those are really powerful. They do, they allow you to either draw new cards or permanently remove one of your cards from the game, which is really helpful with a deck builder because you want to, at some, pay, some stage, um, discard things that are um, no longer useful, particularly some of the starter cards. All right, let's buy a card. So I've got two. I guess I'm gonna buy that one. Okay, so that one I've just flipped over. It's a special ability to draw and play one more card. So that's quite handy and it's quite cheap. Now I will, oh, you can only buy one card per round as well. So that's why I'm only buying one card. And I can repair, I can heal two morale. And this is the card that I bought not so long ago. And that heals me three health. So I'm back up to full health. If we look at my attack, I've got an attack of three, so I can defeat the enemy. And I don't think I put a new enemy out, so I'm cheating. So I should have put a new enemy out when I drew my cards. But I'll fix that, so that's okay. Enemy now attacks, I lose one health and one health, and one morale, one health for that one. Two of those. A lot of shuffling, so you do want to sleeve your cards, particularly um, well, depending how you printed them. The print and play. I'll put the link for the print and play um, to purchase. I think it's like two ninety nine, so it's really cheap. Um, and like I say, you get different sizes of cards. So I printed out the poker size cards. There's some bigger cards as well if you want bigger cards and you want to laminate them or print them on cardboard. Um, three of those. Okay. So now we get a new enemy. You can only ever have four enemies at any time. So once you've got four out, no more flip over. Um, hopefully you won't get all four out. So I've got three, four, five, six that I could spend. I guess I'll have that one. And there's a lot of cards, I think there's 52 cards, so there's lots of variability. You'll get completely different cards every game. Um, I can heal one morale um, and one health. So I'm on 10 morale, nine health. I can attack for three. So that's not gonna do any good. And I will then get counter-attacked for one morale and Four. Four health. Not looking good. It is game over if either my morale or my health hits zero. So I have to look after both of those. Got three of those. And I want two more. Okay, and we'll flip over enemy number four. Okay, recruit. Okay, so I've got zero, three, four I can recruit. I'll grab that one, I think. Cost me three. Oh, that's recruit costs in the top corner, if you hadn't worked that out. Um, I can heal one, two, three morale, so that's good. And three health, one, two, three. That's a relief, and I can attack for three. So my attacking is really pitiful at the moment because I'm now going to take one, two, three morale and two, four health. And I've got four of those. So you will get to the stage, then you're not shuffling every round, so you will be waiting around to get cards out. I really need a card so I can start thinning out some of the cards I don't need, but um, that hasn't popped yet. So I can't do that. Okay, so now I've just picked up this card and this one says you can draw and play one more card. So I'll do that after my recruit phase. 
I didn't flip over an enemy because I've already got four. I can recruit up to a three. And that doesn't help me, so I think I'll grab this one. And um, now I will do the draw and play one more card. And I sure should have done that before, actually, because I actually got a new um, recruit. That's all right. I couldn't have got these anyway because it's seven and eight is quite expensive. Um, in terms of healing, morale, I've got two. And health, I've got three, four. And attack, I've got two, four, five. So I think we'll get rid of the five. And then I'm going to take two morale and three health. One, two, three, four. Must be getting close to um, 10 cards. Um, if you haven't seen, there's a tank on the back. Um, okay, and we have another enemy. I can recruit for four. That's pretty pitiful. I'm not going to grab that actually, because I think that's going to water down my my um, draw deck. So I'm just going to leave that and hopefully I can get one of these next round. Um, I can heal my morale for two and my health for four and I can attack for three. So that's not going to do very much. And then I'll get attacked for four morale and four health. Not looking good this game. Five. Okay. Okay, so I've got to draw and play one more card, so I'll have that. Then I can recruit. I've only got five again. So this is really blocked, which is not very good. However, I will. I don't really want this one, but I'm going to grab it because it's got two supply, which might get me over this bump. I can heal my morale for one. I'm going to be dead soon. Um, and health for two. I can attack for two, four, five. I guess we'll get rid of the four then. And then they're going to attack me for four. Morale and three health. I've been pretty unlucky with some of my um, cards that I can purchase. If you can get the ones that have the special abilities, they can really swing it. Because there's one that lets you double the number of damage on another card. And so that's really great. And being able to thin out your deck at this point is kind of important as well. As in with... Deck builders, you want to be able to thin out your cards you no longer need. And nothing interesting, and I've got three to recruit. I just really don't want that in my draw deck, so I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to heal one, I think I'm dead, one morale. Um, and I've got one, two, three health. And I can attack for one, two, three. And then they're going to hit me for six morale and five health. So I'm demoralized and I lose. Which is the way things go with um, the randomization. This is actually the second game I've played tonight. In the first game, I got all the way to the end. I got the card number 12. Um, very exciting. However, not this game. Great little... Deck Builder, um, like I say, it's about 50, 52 cards, really nice artwork, um, very easy to play, quick to set up, um, yep, I very much like it, uh, I recommend it, um, don't forget to subscribe and like.